So I clicked on this video and I already know there is some interest inside of you to learn Deutsch. First of all, if you're unsure about the whole Dutch Deutsch thing, check out this video first by CPG Great just to make sure if you're actually right here. But if you are, then great. The first reason to learn German would be because you already speak English. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't be watching this just to look at me talk about stuff, right? What I mean by that is the interlinked history and its mutual ancient roots in North Sea Germanic. And once you master the pronunciation, it is not actually too hard to see the similarities by comparison. For example, Das ist der Weg zum Kindergarten. You probably heard Mumble Mumble Kindergarten, and that's right. The written form gets more clear. Das ist der Weg zum Kindergarten. This is the way to the kindergarten. See, it's not that hard, and you haven't even learned German yet. But once you start, you will notice very quickly one of its beautiful characteristics of being extremely literal sometimes. If you ever get stuck or forget how to say something, you can simply describe what you mean and you will end up with just what you were looking for. Or have you already learned some? Because if you have, you should ask yourself, how good is my German really? In 2013, the company Grammarly looked into 100 LinkedIn profiles of native English speakers who worked in the same field and discovered an interesting correlation. Those who had gotten one to four promotions within the first 10 years of their career showed 45% more grammar errors compared to those with six to nine raises. Furthermore, the professionals that rose to director level position within the 10 year span have two and a half times less grammar mistakes on their profiles than the ones who didn't. Language is important for your work, for your life, especially if you plan on living in Germany, like Berlin, for example, speaking good German is a must. And why live here, you ask? Well, let me just show you what a day in Berlin could actually look like for you. First, you get up in the morning and you have a good breakfast with organic, locally grown products like eggs from your own garden or other things from one of the markets nearby. Something that you will never find anywhere else than Germany is its famous whole grain bread, of which just two slices will keep you going for several hours. Then you're off to see some culture. Reaching your destination is a breeze, since all of the public transportation has been developed and organized by German engineers. So people sometimes come up to me and ask, hey, where's the downtown of Berlin? And we don't have one downtown, in fact, it really depends on what you want to do. Heard for museums, there is an island. Want to go shopping or catch a movie? Zoologischer Garten, Mitte or Alexanderplatz will serve you just well. But the whole city is just so rich in historic importance that just wandering around and visiting the numerous sites will give you more to do that an entire day won't be enough, that's for sure. Later then you think, hey, I want to go partying. So you call up some friends, get together and start drinking. At some point you notice, crap, we forgot about time and now we're way too late to get to this one club. What do we do? You just go to a different one, huh? Basically, the further you go east, yeah. the later the clubs open. Oh, okay. Then you go out partying at 2 a.m., have a good time, and in the end, you're tired and hungry. So before you take the subway to go home, you have a snack. And sure, we also have McDonald's and Burger King and beer and sausage. But my favorite fast food will forever be the Döner Kebab, which you will never understand if you've never had one here. Thank you. Thanks. Uh... By the way, we're drinking alcohol in public here, which is 100% legal. Germany is awesome. Just saying. Alter, das war, das war richtig Alkohol. So what will we offer to help you speak with German? You've probably already seen tons of videos on your way here of people in front of the webcams helping out travelers with the most important phrases in German, like where to find the bathroom or two beers, please. And if you only have, let's say, a week or a few days to learn before you're visiting Germany, that is probably the way to go. Yet there is a few problems with that style of learning. First, you may know what it sounds like what you're trying to say, but you don't really know what you're saying or how you're saying it, which doesn't necessarily help you understand the answer either. Second, learning selective sentence structures will leave holes in your general understanding of the language's grammar, which might get quite hard to determine and close later on. Also, whatever you learn wrong or almost correct in the beginning will stay in your head and alter anything that comes with it, too. That is why ABC Squared will give you a different approach to the language. We will start off with a clean slate and systematically cover one topic after another, leaving nothing out and giving you a condensed arrangement of everything you need to know about German to be able to say whatever you want in your own words. And that won't take as long as you might think. Learning the vocabulary, sure, and getting a feeling for the different methods of expressing yourself, absolutely. But all of that you will learn later on by using basic, straightforward grammar and your own intuition. So let us help make you better. Just sit down for an hour every now and then and look into it. You'll be surprised how fast you will actually be able to say things. Just learn German, man. We're here to help you. I'm Chivaji Lobos, and this is ABC Squared.
Wenn du willst, wenn du willst, mach die nach. Okay. Trink erstmal noch so ein bisschen. Mmh, kalte Milch. <lacht> <lacht> Weiß ich auch, wenn man Leute sieht, die, die an, der, an der Kamera sitzen und nichts tun. Weil immer, wenn man die sieht, warten die, dass man weggeht. Ne? 